Okay, definitely going to go first to keep him off his crazies. And this seems fine. Life Staff, Silver Mirror, Tangle Angler, hopefully if I draw a land. Oh, it's tough to lose a game like that when you know your deck was better, um, or at least better suited for the environment and random chance sort of takes your head off, but uh, it's alright. Well now I need one of my fatties. Really can't block here, I need to get that Tangle Angler out early. Hopefully he doesn't get his um, Dark Seal Axe here. Not gonna block. Just take my one. And hopefully he doesn't have a turn three Koth. Jeez. Now the bad draws are going to start. Doubt he's going to let the Palladium Mirror live. It's obviously quite dangerous. Well, he can't do the turn 3 Koth. Probably just going to take out my silver mirror. That's what I'd do, I think. Well, I guess I'd swing first. Yep, need to keep around my Palladium mirror. Can play Tangle Angler and equip with the Life Staff, which pretty much stops his, his action. Well, except for the Spell Bomb. There's the land. Hmm. See, so he's going to use the panic. Then swing with everybody. That's fine. I think I'm still best just doing this rather than playing the bladed pinions. One, two, three, four, five, six. Play Neuroc Replica to continue to hold the fort. Yeah, the other thing about him doing that and swing with everybody is then I can't munch somebody with Tangle Angler. Dark Steel Axe. Hmm, no. I think I will just block the Goblin Gavalier here. I don't need my silver mirror that badly. Probably just kill his silver mirror with the tangle angler to keep him off metal craft. Also, he's got panic spell bomb, so. This is a trade I'm fine with making here. It does turn off my Neuroc replica, but I think it's I think it's fine. Oh, 
Okay. Maybe I just should have blocked with the angler. No, especially not with Nurok Replica up. Well, let's see. Yeah, one, two, three, Just bounce the Gavalier, I think. Because I can pinions to kill it um, next time. Hmm. Hmm. Nah, I think I'll hold back. Well, kind of just like putting a free two on him. I don't see any reason not to swing there, I think. I'm almost assuredly going to use my Nurok replica. Like, unless he doesn't use Panic Spell Bomb, and then I'll probably just block and take one. That's fine, too. Which, I guess, would have been a reason to move the Life Staff over. Yeah, I probably should have moved the Life Staff over instead of doing that. That could definitely cost me this game. Gain three life back. That was silly. I forgot he could do that. Yeah, that was the play. Life staff to the replica, so which means even if I sack it, I still gain three. It's pretty devastating against him. That said, he's still kind of in trouble. But yeah, life life staff was was the way to go for sure. Especially if he draws like a fume spitter. I can just it just in general. Being at fifteen here is pretty different from being at twelve. Yeah. Wow. Such minor things can be such huge misplays. Okay. Just gonna go ahead and panic. Yeah, I really need to. I really need to gain those three life. I'm guessing that's gonna make the difference. Full shock replica. Now I really want those three life back. Well, again, I can force him to block though. And I can play the pinions and equip them to the palladium mirror. Man, I need those three life. I 
Still no double mountain. I'm guessing that's keeping him off Koth. I can start Trigon of Thought action pretty soon here. Yeah, I'm still kicking myself for not, not doing the life staff play. That would have just been so devastating. Hopefully he just doesn't really have much here. I guess he could have Grasp and the Axe to deal three. That would be nasty. That's probably what he's going to do. Mimic Vat. Well, that's not good. Hmm. Do I let him get Galvalier behind the Mimic Vat? 